Rear facing mode with the seat belt. To begin, make sure to either insert or remove infant pillows and cushions as needed. Locate the recline handle and pull it forward until it clicks into position 3. You will then place the car seat facing rear in the vehicle. Check the level to ground line to ensure car seat is parallel with the ground. Pull out the vehicle belt with a generous amount of slack and thread it through the rear facing mode belt path opening. Pull it across the seat and out. Buckle in the seat belt. Push down on the seat with one hand while pulling up on the seat belt with the other hand to remove the slack. Check for stability. It should not move more than an inch from the vehicle seat. Rear facing mode with lower anchors and tether. Locate the recline handle and pull it forward until it clicks into position 3. Remove the lower anchor belt from the storage location. Thread the connector without the adjuster through the rear facing mode belt path. You will then place the car seat facing rear in the vehicle. Check the level to ground line to ensure the car seat is parallel with the ground. Then, fasten the latch connectors to the vehicle's connector. Push down on the seat with one hand and pull up on the adjuster with your free hand to remove the slack. Check for stability. It should not move more than an inch from the vehicle seat. Forward facing mode with seat belt and tether. Adjust the seat with the recline handle. There are two positions and you should choose the position that allows for the seat to get as flush with the back of the vehicle as possible. Loosen the tether located on the back of the car seat. Then you are ready to place the car seat facing forward on the vehicle seat. Pull the tether through the headrest and loosely attach it to the vehicle's tether location. Pull out the seat belt with a generous amount of slack. Thread it through the forward facing mode belt path and buckle it in to make sure there are no twists in the belt. Then push down on the car seat with one hand while pulling up on the vehicle belt with the other hand to remove slack. Check for stability, it should not move more than an inch from the vehicle seat. Finally remove all the slack from the tether. Forward facing mode with lower anchor and tether. Adjust the seat with the recline handle. There are two positions and you should choose the position that allows for the seat to get as flush with the back of the vehicle as possible. Then remove the lower anchor belt from the storage location. Thread the connector with the adjuster through the forward facing mode belt path. Make sure it is not twisted. Loosen the tether located on the back of the car seat. Then you are ready to place the car seat facing forward on the vehicle seat. Pull the tether through the headrest and loosely attach it to the vehicle's tether location. Then, fasten the latch connectors to the vehicle's connector. Push down on the seat with one hand and pull up on the adjuster with your free hand to remove slack. Check for stability. It should not move more than an inch from the vehicle seat. Finally, remove all the slack from the tether.